Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to explain why the function is discontinuous at the given number a, and to sketch the graph of the function. So if we have f of x is equal to 1 over x plus 2, and a equals negative 2, we can say that the function is discontinuous because for a function to be continuous, the limit as x approaches a of the function must equal the value of the function at that point. What is f of a here? Well, f of x is equal to 1 over x plus 2. And a is negative 2, so f of negative 2 is equal to 1 over negative 2 plus 2. This is 1 over 0. Therefore, f of negative 2 does not exist. Therefore, since the value of the function doesn't exist, there's no way for it to equal the limit in the first place. Therefore, we can say that the function is discontinuous at that point. Uh, they also asked us to graph this function. And so if we are simply graphing 1 over x, right, that's one of the graphs we had to learn in the last chapter, it looks like this, right, where we're going off to infinity and negative infinity as we get closer to 0, and to 0 as we get closer to negative infinity and infinity. And to add 2, we know, is a uh, transformation. It's a shift. It's being done within the fraction within the function, right? It's not 1 over x plus 2 after it. It's 1 over x plus 2. Therefore, it's to the left and the right. And it's positive, so it's to the left. So therefore, as we go off to infinity and negative infinity, we're still going off to 0. However, as we get closer here, we're getting closer to 0 as we go off to um, infinity and negative infinity. We have to move it over 2 to the left and say, as we approach negative 2, we go off to uh, negative infinity and infinity. And therefore, we can see why the function is discontinuous, because it's going off in opposite directions, and there's no actual value of the function. It's just going off to infinity in both directions. But either way, by the graph or by the calculations, the function is discontinuous at this point.